welcome back. It's another Sunday and it's a sunny bank holiday Sunday this weekend. So hope you're having a good bank holiday weekend. Um, and let's get stuck in for today. For today. Uh, the strength piece, there is going to be um, no specific strength piece. We're going to focus on some core work. As Marcos would say, it's time to get uh, beach body ready. The sun is out. So uh, we're going to work on some core work to start with. I'll go through um, each of the little circuits that we're going to do. Um, there's going to be a static core circuit, then a dynamic core circuit, and then just one nice little little long finisher after that. And then we're going to get to uh, today's workout. Today's workout is going to be a fun one. It's um, going to be a take on a games workout. So there was a games workout called Split Triples um, a couple of years ago. Uh, and we'll go through that in a minute once we've um, done the core work. We're not going to have any formal warm up. We're just going to use that core circuit um, as an opportunity to get nice and warm. And then we'll spend a little bit of time going through each of the movements for the workout. So the static core circuit that we're going to do, you're going to be doing 20 seconds at each station and we're going to be doing this for two rounds. So you're going to be doing 20 seconds of a hollow hold, 20 seconds straight into 20 seconds of a superman hold, uh, then straight into 20 seconds of a plank, um, and then right into, as you guessed, one, 20 seconds one side, um, one arm plank, and then the other arm for another 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds of rest and then you're going to go straight into it again. So I'll show you each one of those movements. Starting off with the hollow hold. 20 seconds here. I want you to keep nice and tight here. Try and make sure the hollow of your back is in contact with the floor. If that means raising up your legs even more, then do that. Just make sure that your lower back is in contact with the ground. And as you feel more comfortable with it, you can slowly lower your feet down. That will want to raise your back up, but just make sure it's in contact and it will then make it harder for you. So that's the hollow hold. The second movement is going to be the Superman hold. So that's going to be on your front. So you're going to roll straight into this. You're going to have your, your toes pointed, really make sure you're squeezing your butt cheeks together, pushing your hip. So you're not trying to squeeze tight your back and overarch your back. What you're trying to do is really push your hips into the ground, keeping nice and tight. Um, try and get your arms to your ears on both of those movements so both the hollow hold and the superman hold and that help you keep a nice tight position you don't want to be overarching you want to be pushing your hips into the ground really nice strong position with a lot of tension through your back uh next one after that is just going to be the plank so on both elbows nice tight plank nice tight core um, try and keep your pelvis anteriorly rotated and then the side plank nice and easy everyone should know that one arm up if you can, just to make sure you're keeping that tension through that midline and not just flopping in either side at 20 seconds rest and that's the first circuit. So now that we've done that, we're going to move on to the next piece, which is going to be a dynamic core circuit. So you're going to be doing, um, taking some of those positions that we've just tried to ingrain there and um, using those in a dynamic way. What you want to make sure you do through these movements, so as you're doing a hollow rock, is to make sure that you're maintaining that hollow body position, you're not changing the shape of your body whilst that motion is taking place. And the same with the Superman rock as well. And um, so you're gonna be, again, it's 20 seconds of work. So you're gonna do 20 seconds of the hollow rock, then 20 seconds of the Superman rock, then 20 seconds of the rotation. So rotating from the hot, from the hollow hold into the Superman, and then you do 20 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do that this time for three rounds. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. In that hollow rock again, remember, your body is just this one single dish. It doesn't change shape as you're rotating through. Again, try and maintain that, that contact of your lower back in the floor. Um, if you need to, again, raise your feet up. That will make it easier for your back to maintain that contact. And as you get more comfortable with that, you can start slowly lowering your feet down. And the second one is so straight into another 20 seconds at the Superman position. Again, push your hips into the floor, get that nice position and you're just rocking back and forth. In this one, you might want to use your feet to leave you up, but once you've used your feet to create a bit of momentum, try and get your body into that exact flat same position. Try and hold that statically throughout, really holding the tension uh, through, your, through your posterior, push those hips into the floor. And then the third movement, you're going to be rotating from that hollow body into 
that Superman hole. And back again. I would say maybe do um, one round where you're going one way, so when I'm rotating this way, one round doing the other way, and then when you get to the final round of these three rounds, try and go once over that way and then twice back the other way, so you're getting an even uh, an even amount of work through your body. So that's the second circuit. And so now we are on to the third circuit, the third and final. This is just gonna be a little core finisher at the end of uh, all of this course and work. Um, it's gonna be Tabata style, so you need 20 seconds of rest, of work, sorry, and then follow that by 10 seconds of rest. So you get a bit of rest in between, so really try and uh, push hard through those 20 seconds. Um, we did two rounds in the first one, we did three rounds in the second workout, so in this one we're gonna do four rounds of each movement. Um, the movements are gonna be shoulder tap to a toe tap in the plank position, so then gonna be mountain climbers, then V-ups, and then finally you're gonna do single arm crunches. Uh, when you're doing the single arm, I would say do, uh, for each of those four rounds, as it's a nice even round, do one round one arm, one round the other arm, and so on and so forth. So on for those movements. In plank position, you're gonna do the shoulder tap to toe tap. So by solid plank, make sure you get that solid position first. You can do the shoulder taps, which everyone should know, keeping your hips as square to the floor as you possibly can. So tap one shoulder, next shoulder, and then put tap in your toe. That's the full movement, and then you go again. Uh, next one after that. So you get 10 seconds of rest once you've done 20 seconds of work. You're gonna go into mountain climbers. Let me take that this way. So for those mountain climbers, nice and simple, just really try and get those lower abs working. So really try and bring your knees up as high as possible, um, rotating your feet. The third movement is gonna be a V up. So your feet are gonna be on the floor at the bottom and your hands are going to touch the floor, the back of your hands are going to touch the floor and you're going to try and bring your feet and hands together whilst maintaining as straight legs as possible and straight arms as well. If you find that really challenging, don't worry, you can just do that V up, not without touching your feet, you can just go to your shins, you can sit up a little bit more, but ideally you want to be trying to Bring your feet and your hands straight up, really tucking your coin. And then the final one in this is single arm crunches. So you're gonna have one foot down flat, the opposite arm is gonna be flat to the floor. Uh, you're gonna to touch your ear on the side of your head, and the other foot's gonna be, the other leg's gonna be out extended at the bottom of the rep. And then you're just gonna bring it together, trying to get your elbow all the way to your knee at the top of the rep and going through like that. So like I said, on the first round do your right arm, second round do your left arm and then so on and so forth and it's four rounds of that. And now we are on to the workout for the day which like I said um, we're going to do a take on one of the games workouts. In the games workout it was five rounds for time, one rope climb, 100 double unders, 10 hang split snatches and 10 uh, hang clean and split jerks and the weights were 35 kilos for the men and uh, 25 kilos for the women. Now obviously everyone's got a 35 kilo dumbbell in their house, uh, a 10 foot rope as well, um, so we can obviously just do exactly the same workout but if you don't then we're going to provide some modifications so we're going to take out the rope lines, double unders, and we're going to change the weights. So instead, we're going to have okay, 10 hang high pulls. Ten goblet squats. And we're going to do 16 of the snatches. 16 of the hang uh, and split jerks and the weights are going to be 15 and 22 and a half um, and I will now demonstrate each of those movements. So the workout as I said is going to start off with 10 hang high pulls so I'm going to show you with a dumbbell and um, it can start anywhere 
above your knees, you're just going to bend over your hips and put it up. One, two, three, all the way to ten. Follow you straight into ten goblet squats. And then we're going to get into our split movements. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of coordination, a little bit of practice, so make sure you spend some time practicing this. The key thing to think about here is that the arm is going, you're going to alternate arms and the arm is going to correspond with the leg that's going backwards. So on the hang slit snatches, you want to just, again, tilting over your pelvis, get that hip hinge, pull up, snatch over, Sure you're standing all the way up at the top of the rep. Give that a little go. Make sure, you know, really things to think about are hinge over at the hip. Really get a nice high pull as you're going through into that split snatch. And then the final movement is the, uh, it's gonna be 16 of those, and then it's gonna be 16 hang clean into split jerk. Hang clean is going to be, like we all know, hand clean and then split jerk. Again, you want to be alternating arms and you want to have the arm that's going upwards or the arm that's extending out being the same as the leg that's going backwards again. So that's a split jerk, stand all the way up. Sixteen of those, so that's total. So eight each arm, both on the snatches and the cleaning jerks. Uh, five rounds for time. Good luck everyone. Let us know how you get on. Hopefully you get a hang of each of those split movements. Hang, ha ha. <laughs>